Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to make a basic lotion or a cream. So first of all you need to know that every emulsion has three phases, basic phases, the oil phase, the water phase and the cool down phase. So the oil phase, you will have the oils, if you will put a butter or any wax, it will be in the oil phase. In the water, you will have the water, the glycerin, uh, maybe a gum, and then in the cool down phase, you have the preservative, the fragrance, and some additives if you want to add them in the end. This is the formula I'm going to use in this video, just to show you how to make a basic lotion. And I'm using four different emulsifying waxes to show you how each emulsifying wax gives you a different result. I'm starting by sanitizing everything, my tools, my beakers, everything needs to be clean and sanitized. I'll show you now the different emulsifying waxes that I'm using in this video. In the end of the video, you can see the different result each emulsifying wax gave me. This is something that you should consider when you're making your own creams and lotion, choosing your emulsifying wax because it really can affect your final product. Although if you're just a beginner and you just want to start with one wax, so I would recommend start with this one, which is the Olive M1000. It's really easy to work with and you can thicken it with cetyl alcohol later on or cetyric acid. I'm not using it in this video because I want to make something more simple but this is a very recommended wax that I like to use in many products. Please take into consideration that emulsifying wax is not the same as beeswax or soy wax and you cannot swap emulsifying wax with other waxes. You should use emulsifying wax because it's the only way to bind the water ingredients and the oil ingredients in an emulsion. I'm starting by weighting my water face ingredients. I'm starting with the glycerin. Then I'm gonna add the xanthan gum. It's the easiest way to incorporate gum into the product by mixing it with the glycerin. So I highly recommend always do it this way. I'm adding the distilled water. Then I'm gonna mix everything and I'm gonna cover it with aluminum foil. To minimize the water evaporation you have more information on the website on the post that i wrote about this basic lotion formula you can go to the website and read all about it now i'm going to the oil phase and i'm starting with the emulsifying wax and i'm adding the oil this is a sweet almond oil that i'm adding here then i'm going to add some shea butter now placing the water phase and the oil phase in a double boiler on medium heat making sure that everything in the oil phase has completely melted then when it's melted we can pour the water phase into the oil phase and mix them together Now when the emulsion has cooled down to less than 40 degrees Celsius, I'm going to check my pH and I'm going to add my cool down phase which will be the fragrance oil and my preservative. <laughs> 